Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Good day everyone. Uh, today on the bench I'm going to bring you a little cinnamon caddis. This is a bit of a variation in, from uh, elk hair caddis. We're going to be using some different materials. It uh, gives us a really nice profile. It floats. Uh, I'll go along and show you the materials first and then we'll show you the techniques to tie this great little bug. Start, I'm going to be using a size 14 dry fly hook. It's a TMK 100. I like those. Uh, the body, uh, why we're going to lose a lot of the hackle on the body because I can use a Semperfly Kapok dubbing. This is rusty orange. Kind of a nice coloration for the cement caddis once it's wet. Um, the underwing, I'm going to use some ice wing uh, fiber. This is UV. Uh, just a few little strands of that. It helps a lot. On the uh, the color of this fly, I'm, the only hack I'm putting on is just going to be a little of this uh, dark uh, badger. And uh, then over the wing, I'll use some elk hair. Nice light colored elk hair. And for the thread, I'll use some classic waxed uh, thread here, 8 dot brown. You can use tan on it as well. Okay. Nice little variation. The elk hair caddis is one of the most uh, famous dry fly hooks for caddis, I'm sure. One we all use. It's a little variation that I like. A lot of times these patterns over the years have been tied to we didn't have maybe these materials available when the, the uh, El Toth came up with the elk hair caddis many years ago, so maybe he didn't have some of these materials as we do today. So. Okay, I'll start the thread on the shank of my hook. And I'll come in here with my uh, Kapok dubbing. Now this is actually, they created, uh, this is, uh, they use this in life jackets many years ago. So it's a, it's a natural floatant. And I'm gonna get a nice bug, buggy body on there. This is a wax thread. Uh, we don't wanna trap any of these fibers down. It's critical we leave the fibers sticking out. There's a lot more floatability. I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the back. A little bit more of a taper there. And we'll come forward. And we bring our dubbing forward. We'll crowd the eye. A nice little body there. You see all that buggy nature coming out. That's just what you want to see. Now we'll uh, come in here with my ice wing. Just bring a wee little pinch of that off. It's just enough to give us a little bit of an underwing on here. I use this for a lot of my flies now. It's uh, been a great ad. I've been using this UV for quite some time and it's wherever you can add it on your flies it will uh, improve them a lot. Fish can see that from underneath. Anything really long there, get it all the way. I'll bring in my furnace or my badger here. A little long right there. Let me trim that down. I'm just going to tie this wet fly style in the front, just imitate legs. I'll take a couple turns. It's almost the same color once put on. It looks almost like the Cocteleon. It's got the same sheen to it. And you can buy a lot of these. This is a half saddle, as you can see, cut in half. You can buy quarter saddles. You can also buy 100 packs where you get a, you can just buy a few feathers and uh, it'll do 100 flies or more. And that works great for the average uh, use. I'll just come in with my uh, elk here. Cut that down off the patch. Make sure we get all our little junk off the bottom there. Clean that up. Put it in our hair stacker. Tips first. It should come out here nice and even with the tips. 
Two black tips on there. Elk hair is going to be nice. Make sure to work because it doesn't flare as much as deer. I'm going to be a little bit short of the bend on this. Take a soft turn and pull up. I want to pull up. Always pull my pressure up and see what that does to my hair at the top. It allows that hair to stay on the top of the fly. It doesn't spin. And then I'll pull those butts back. I got loose hair here. Let me get rid of that. Pull the butts back and then I just wrap the head nicely in there. Grab my whip finish. Just pull those butts back. Keep them long, don't cut them yet. And then whip finish off. Just saw your thread off there with the blade of your scissor. We'll give it a little haircut. Make sure our wing is sitting up. And you can see that UV underneath, very visible to the fish. A couple little turns of the legs there for the, uh, the hackle. Um, really looks good in the water. Looks like the legs of your caddisfly. You can skate this one along in the current a little bit too. The end of your drift or whatever. So, great little fly. Uh, appreciate you watching again today. And we'll catch you again real soon.